Hello everyone, Jose Zayas here with your weekly update. It's a fantastic week to love your mom. Hint, hint. Uh, this week, what do we want to think about? On Sunday, we'll continue our series, The Way of Jesus. We'll be looking at Matthew 5 in these huge statements that you've heard, but maybe we don't fully understand. You are the salt of the earth and you are the light of the world. Well, you have to tune in on Sunday to see what that means, but I want to give you three, I think, stories that fit in line with the way of Jesus. Uh, maybe you're thinking this week, what can I be doing? Well, I would say live generously. Salt and light in the end reflect uh, the generous overflow. If we've been touched by Jesus, we're going to live like Jesus. Three stories I've heard this week that just encourage my soul. One is personal. We had some people come to our house with signs. I, we, I posted it on my Instagram account with signs saying, we're praying for you. And they literally prayed outside of our house. They weren't asking to come in. They were keeping their social distance, but they took the time to say like, we care about you. We're praying for you and your family. What does it mean for us to live out our faith? It's finding ways to be generous, right? And that just so encouraged my family. Maybe you're not set to do that, but you could do something else. Heard a story this week uh, about a birthday, a 16th birthday, and some of our youth leaders, our volunteer servants, they went out and did a drive-by to, to say happy birthday to someone turning 16. I think it's incredible. Didn't cost much, took some time and energy and thought, but think of the impact on someone else by choosing to live generously. Got an email uh, just last week with someone in our community who has a car, an extra vehicle, and out of concern for someone who may have car trouble or need extra transportation said, hey, can anyone use a car? I'm willing to give it. I want it to go to someone who's in need. Well, we did a little searching and we couldn't find a person immediately, but it didn't take long. And it turns out there's a family, they don't attend our church. They're about to have their third child, even I think this week or next week. And they were researching, they can't fit three car seats in their car. And so they began to pray, this couple, like, Lord, we need help. He happens to be a student, was just laid off from his job. Uh, Lord, would you provide? And in the end, we're able to make that match. And this person from our community who had the extra vehicle, was willing to give it, is now going to bless this family about to receive their third child. And this vehicle happens to be big enough for three car seats. My point is you can't do everything, but you can do something. So in light of you are the light of the world, you are the salt of the earth, this week, even before Sunday, could you think about one thing that you can do for one person? Now, with Mother's Day this weekend, maybe that's your focus. What can you do extra special for if your mother's not available or around for some other mother, or maybe for someone who's not a mom, right? But is looking for someone to affirm and love them. The point is everyone can do one thing for one person. And then if you're a part of our community groups, uh, share that with someone else. Share what you're doing and let's encourage one another to live out the way of Jesus. Well, we'll see you this Sunday, 10 a.m. at our website, and we'll look at what it means to be salt and light.